following the successful completion of NASA's last project, they are here with yet another interesting one. Hopes have been raised high and preparations have been made since last year for this. Currently, they are on a project which will boast of ingenuity and brilliance, a helicopter on Mars. As of today, their staff members have expressed optimism over the launch of the project, and here are the words of their former administrator, Jim Bridenstine. The thing that has me the most excited as the NASA administrator is getting ready to watch a helicopter fly on another world. That's something that's never been done before in human history. And here we are. This was said during a press conference that previewed the mission in June 17, 2021. The helicopter was taken to Mars by the Perseverance rover and landed on the 18th of February 2021 at Jezero Crater on Mars. Its body size is like that of a box of tissues, slung underneath a pair of 1.2 meter carbon fiber rotors on top of four spindly legs. It weighs just 1.8 kilograms on Earth and 0.68 kilograms on Mars. But the importance is massive. If everything goes according to plan, Ingenuity will become the first aircraft to fly on Mars, which is the primary reason for the mission. The current mission is expected to be a success, according to Tim Canham, the Mars Helicopter Operations Lead at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL. When interviewed, he said all signs for the flight look good, and it showed a promising status report. He also mentioned that the battery and heating systems of the craft were functioning well. In order for the project to work, Ingenuity has to survive frigid temperatures, manage merciless power constraints, and attempt a series of 90-second flights, while separated from Earth by 10 light minutes, which means that real-time communications or control is impossible. Ingenuity is scheduled for its first flight in April 2021, although the exact day hasn't yet been set. Tim mentioned that Ingenuity was to remain attached to Perseverance rover between 30 and 60 days of its initially land in February. Once it is detached, it will then have to successfully charge itself through solar power before attempting up to five test flights within a 31-day period. To make more than one flight, Ingenuity must survive the extremely low temperatures of the planet's surface, which plummet to minus 90 degrees Celsius at night. Tests on Earth indicate that the helicopter should survive this weather, but that doesn't guarantee that the craft won't encounter any problems seeing as it's not going to be controlled by any individual. As soon as the helicopter is able to charge itself and communicate through the Mars Helicopter Base Station on the rover, then they can begin test flights, which would be after at least a month. At the moment, we're simply waiting for the helicopter to pass the test process. All we can hope for is that it responds up positively. According to reports, Ingenuity's first flight will be no easy feat. Although its gravity is about a third of that on our own planet, Mars's atmosphere is less than 1% the density of Earth's. This means lifting off from the Mars surface will be equivalent to flying at 30,000 meters above the Earth, something never achieved by conventional helicopters. However, NASA is hoping Ingenuity's carbon fiber rotors spinning at 2400 RPM will generate enough lift to make its mission a success. For comparison, most conventional helicopters on Earth employ rotor blades spinning at around 500 RPM. With all this in place, NASA reported to us that Ingenuity was built to be largely autonomous. It would not be controlled by a joystick. This is due to the great distance between both planets. The helicopter will travel over 20 million kilometers to reach Mars, and as a result of the distance, it would take more than 11 minutes to get a radio signal back to Earth. But attached to its engine board is a sequencing engine, where sets of sequences and commands have been uploaded via a file to the helicopter to enable it to execute the commands. The guidance part of the flight in simulation are a series of waypoints, and those waypoints are the sequence of commands that are sent to the guidance software. When those engines are ready for the helicopter to fly, they tell it to go, and the guidance software takes over and executes taking off, traversing to the different waypoints, and then landing. This further means the flights are pre-planned very specifically. While it is flying, its pre-planned programs ensure that it stays on a trajectory, irrespective of wind gusts or other things that may happen in the environment. And just if the unexpected happens, and a sensor goes haywire, the helicopter just needs to take the last propagated state and land, before it figures out on its own what went wrong. The helicopter won't try to continue its flight if a sensor fails. All three sensors that are used during the flight are necessary to complete the flight because of how their data is fused together. When asked the sensors used for Ingenuity, Tin Camham said that they used a cell phone grade IMU, a laser altimeter from SparkFun, and a downward pointing VGA camera for monocular feature tracking. They compared features to track relative position to figure out direction and speed, 
which is how the helicopter navigates. It's all done by estimates and position, as opposed to memorizing features or creating a map. They also had an inclometer, which is used to establish the tilt of the ground just during takeoff, and a cell phone grade 13 megapixel color camera that isn't used for navigation, but is going to be used to take pictures while flying. It's called the RTE. They mentioned that the Ingenuity Mars helicopter doesn't have any specific science goals. It's purely an experimental project, and its performance during experimental test flights will help to inform decisions relating to considering small helicopters in the future, and for future Mars missions. The helicopter flight would also help plans for future rotorcraft, such as NASA's Dragonfly, an eight-rotor drone that will launch on a mission to Saturn's moon, Titan, in 2027. According to the schedule, the helicopter is to run five test flights, but they are concentrated on three at the moment. For the first flight, the helicopter is going to take off a few feet off the ground and hover in the air for around 20 to 30 seconds at a speed of 1 meter per second to an altitude of about 3 meters. If this is successful, subsequent tests will be taken with an increase in distance off the ground. The helicopter could fly for up to 90 seconds to distances of almost 980 feet at a time at about 10 to 15 feet above the ground. If this works, the NASA engineers will have not only proven that they can fly an aircraft on another planet, one that is a vastly different atmosphere than Earth, but will then get to work on deploying more helicopters to Mars, perhaps other worlds. The fourth flight would of course be stretching Ingenuity a little bit. They might as well go over 100 meters, or go for a full round circle, just something out of the norm like they do. The last flight would be something bold, but plans haven't been made for it yet, we're all waiting for the first takeoff. They are undergoing a process of site selection, which has started now, where optical images are taken to identify the potential areas. Based on the rockiness, the slope, and even how textured this area is, for future tracking, a site for the helicopter to operate in will be selected. Although there are some trade-offs, because the safest surface is one that's featureless with no rocks. But that's also the worst surface to do feature tracking on. So it is important that they find a balance. Tim Canham shared excitedly that it would be their first time flying Linux on Mars. For the first time, they will be running on a Linux operating system. The software framework they're using is one that was developed at JPL for CubeSats and instruments, and they open source them too, so people can get the software framework that's flying on the Mars helicopter and use it for their own projects. They're so excited about this new project, set to launch in April, and more updates will be announced during the news conference on Tuesday the 23rd of March 2021. This is an exciting phase for everyone in NASA, and for us too, who wouldn't want to see a helicopter on Mars? Thank you for watching another one of our videos. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.